Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Look, thank God America woke up and we are not in a civil war. Come on, Jesus. Look here, folks. Look, if you've been with me for any amount of time, you already know I'm not doing the unhinged thought processes, okay? Um, what does Sam mean? I mean these people that are like, I think this was uh, staged and um, these were actors and it wasn't real. Trump said, do we have the shot? Do we have the shot? And then they, they took the shot and it was, you know, they knew they weren't gonna hit him and I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm listening to what is supposed to be coherent adults having a conversation. And I'm, I'm praying that these are bots, like, you know, AI robots, which we all know they have. Because these are people otherwise that are going to vote in our elections and, and they truly sound insane. Folks, this was an attempt on Donald Trump's life. Now... When you think about this, there was a high point advantage into the arena where he was speaking and there was a gunman on it. Now, crazy thing is look at this next picture. There is also a gunman, which is, you know, secret service, military sniper on another high vantage point, And somehow he didn't see <laughs> the sniper until the man had already killed somebody, hit Donald Trump in the ear because he turned his head at the last minute. Now, you can call that fake, I call that God. And I really want you to understand I'm not going to promote those fairy tales because to me that's a mental illness. To be that paranoid, to me, is a mental illness. I dealt with people like this with the missing kids in Maui. I dealt with mentally ill people who wanted desperately to believe those kids were kidnapped. Like they were unhappy when I proved that they weren't. Like they got angry and they got violent and they are the ones that threatened my life. Not, not anybody else. Like supposedly the good people threatened me. Okay, so I refuse folks to have that type of discussion on my channel. And if you can't handle that, please leave, please. Because though I believe in freedom of speech, I do not believe in insanity. That is chaotic thought processes. There are, there's no proof. It is just crazy theories. And though you have the right as an adult to believe what you wanna believe, I'm going to caution you, friend, be careful who you are listening to because agents of Satan aren't always ugly, okay? They are not always scary looking. They blend in and they sound like they might have something behind what they're saying. But I'm trying to tell you as friend, it's not okay, baby. It's not okay that you're that paranoid that you think these people died just so that they could play act on a stage the assassination of Donald Trump. That that goes way beyond conspiracy theory. That goes into you need to go to therapy. And, I, and I'm being serious. And I, I don't care who I offend. The Bible says don't get offended. But I think out of everybody's voice on YouTube, I'm going to be that person that tells you stop. Stop. Because it doesn't make sense what you're saying. You heard someone else say it. And because you cannot critically think, you're now grabbing a hold to it and running with it. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. So let's look at what evidence we do have. Okay. There was a sniper outside the arena. Because I told y'all, ain't no way they got that in there, right? No way. Had it been from outside. Had to have been or had to have been planted. So the, the gunman was out. Um, we know that people saw him and they were ignored. Not uncommon. 
not uncommon. That has happened in multiple events. People later come back and they're like, we tried to tell the police, you know, like we were telling them cops, so uh, security, especially federal, they think they know everything and it is not uncommon for them literally to look at you like this. When you're speaking to them and then turn their head, they aren't even listening to you. They have no respect for the American people. They have been trained that you are a nobody. You're just a body, okay? So I am being very serious about that. They have no respect, right? Federal security, um, I'm just telling you, that's how it is. That's why during emergencies, when we see the feds show up, or the state boys, my husband and I, we don't go that direction. <laughs> we go the opposite way because they are trained different than your local your local police officers that know you, okay? You see, you keep that in your mind. It's not uncommon. Go back and look at all major events. People tried to tell them and they were totally ignored. They don't trust you. They're trained not to trust you. In fact, you're probably the enemy in their training. As sad as that is in America, folks. That's the truth, okay? Now, next thing, we know, right? Like we know that there were multiple bullets and right when the shot was fired, he turned his head, thank you, Jesus, or it would have been a bullseye. Now, what I find interesting about that is this clip. Trump murdered on the basis that he is a threat to America's security. That's David Aronovich. I mean, this is someone that people, obviously, mostly in the UK, watch on the BBC and know him to be a household name. Yo, you're a reasonable man. You don't want to do this, but here's the reality. This is a war. This is a war now, and we are fighting for our country. And these assholes are going to Take it away. They're gonna take it away. Joe, you now have the right to take that Trump out. Take him out, Joe. These guys are literally deranged. That They think that it's perfectly acceptable at this point to take themselves on social media, people with millions of viewers, and say, yeah, yeah, let's just murder this guy. Then there's the average Joe. I don't even know this fellow's name, but he thought he'd join in the sentiment. Since they say that uh, a president is immune from prosecution for anything he does officially while he's in office, I think that Joe Biden should officially have Donald Trump killed off and that would solve this problem of uh, him being too stupid to uh, run our country for four more years because he's brain dead. Speaking of being too stupid, that immunity only applies to things that you do as a core part of your business. As Now, that was literally six days ago that that video went up, okay? So I'm not really sure when each person did their individual let's kill Donald Trump video, but folks, everybody from Biden down the progressive left side, let me correct myself. I read every comment and I saw somebody from the progressive left <clears throat> say to me, Sam, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Progressive left, we're totally against this type of violence, any violence. And my question to her was, you're against war and assassination, but you're for abortion. <laughs> and mutilation of children's genitals. Like, I don't know. So I asked her if maybe I could interview her so we could talk and see what the difference, because she's like, they're lying to y'all. This is not the progressive left. Like they're telling you this is how the progressive left acts, but that's not us, Samantha. That's not how we are. So maybe she's onto something there because how many of you are friends with progressive lefts? I have no friends in that arena. So maybe I'm just basing my thought process about who those people are on mainstream media and maybe shame on Sam. I need to talk to some of them and I'm gonna encourage you to do that today too because I feel like the divide in America is bigger than it needs to be because we're all sitting in our corners defending our corner but we're not defending it against anybody else because they're worried about their corner. You see what I'm saying? 
everybody's on the defense, nobody's on the offense, but that's how they want us, right? So I do believe this was an attempt on Donald Trump's life. And I do believe when I say inside job, I don't mean on Donald Trump's team. I'm talking about our government just tried to kill it. It's gonna be an alphabet, alphabet group, people. Don't play with me. Don't get on here and try to twist my words. So I'm gonna tell you now, it was a real attempt. And after they killed John F. Kennedy, they were supposed to always protect high advantage points. That's in their manual on securing the area presidents or ex-presidents are, are currently in. This was intentionally dropping the ball. This was not accidental. So if you have the belief system that this is something that it's not, I don't know, guys, you're not going to get that on my channel. God bless you guys. Love y'all. Have to head off to church. Pray for America. Pray for Donald Trump. Pray for our republic. God bless you guys. By all the agencies in the federal government, that's the situation based on what we know now. I have tried to get a hold of Donald. Uh, he's with his doctors. Uh, they, apparently, he's doing well. I plan on talking to them shortly, I hope, when I get back to the uh, telephone. Look, there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so, and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who, and we have more detail to come relative to other injured, other people maybe injured in the audience. I don't have all that detail. We'll make that available to you. I may be able to come back a little later tonight, but we'll put out a statement if we don't, if I'm not able to get, if, we're, if it's not convenient for you all. But the bottom line is, the, the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to con be conducted peacefully without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. I mean, everybody, everybody must condemn it. Everybody. I'll keep you informed, and if I am able to speak to, the, to Donald, I'll, I'll let you know that as well. So I want to make sure we have all the facts before I make some comment, any more comments. Thank you. Are you worried, President? With the security failing, Mr. President.